Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. My name is Daniel and I'm the High Mileage Helper. On this channel, my goal is to be able to help you learn more about the RV transporting industry, as well as give how-to videos for your truck and then give recommendations along the way. So this is our first time meeting. Uh, just consider subscribing, uh, hitting the like button if you get good value. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a tire review uh, with a certain type of tire that I've never actually talked about uh, on the channel and uh, wanted to share my thoughts on them and kind of give an update where they're at uh, right now after months and months of usage. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get right into the review. All right guys, so first off, I did just want to share with you uh, that uh, I've always used Michelins on my truck. Uh, I've always heard that they were the best, uh, that they are the best in, in rain, in, in snow, uh, and yet I still want a highway tire. So uh, I've, I've only really used some Michelin highway tires in the past, and uh, when you buy Michelins, they come at a premium price. Uh, they are not cheap. Uh, generally, they're uh, well over $200 uh, for one. Uh, I've got a buddy who only uses Michelins on his single rear wheel uh, 2500 Ram and uh, he gets consistently, he's got I believe 18s or 19, I think it's 18 inch rims. Um, he's got, he's getting consistently uh, over 100,000 miles on Michelins. And so hopefully when, when you actually pay you know, a premium price uh, that comes with a longer lasting tire that's probably going to do better uh, across the board and fuel economy and weather and all these things you would think uh, so I've got nothing to say bad about Michelin's uh, first of all this is kind of a, a trigger type of video anyways because everybody has their own uh, type of favorite tire uh, that they swear by that they believe in uh, that they think is great and first of all you know i think that's great and i hope you, you know you find your right tire that that works for you i'm, I'm just gonna be sharing with you you know what i've experienced what i've seen and uh, so I've, I've always used michelins and uh, i've always paid that higher price and and i to a lot to almost 100 percent, i think yeah it is worth the price uh until uh, i found this new tire and uh, if you go back to one of my earlier videos uh, where I talked about uh, new or used tires, uh, buying tires online, I'll link that uh, up above in the card there. Uh, that video uh, kind of describes where I buy my tires at from basically from now on or for, for a while now. Uh, and so uh, I've been buying online tires, free shipping direct to my door, whether they were used or new. And uh, most of the time, if they are used, they're lightly used. So there's quite a still bit of life left in them. And so I bought these tires on a regular basis uh, online uh, with that free shipping. And uh, I believe over the all the many, many tires that I've gone through now, uh, I have saved a significant amount of money opposed to buying a brand new Michelin, uh, whether I bought uh, lightly used Michelins or maybe even moderately used Michelins. Uh, that's what I've gone with. So after doing that for so long, I finally found this other tire uh, that I only, I've only i only seen uh, on their website. So I've been buying Michelins this whole time until I found this new tire uh, that is on bestusetires.com and, and maybe they're already more widespread by the time I'm making this video here. But these new tires uh, really rival the Michelins at, at a much lower price. And so I, I compared the uh, the ply, it's, they're both 10 ply. I believe, I believe they're both load E. They're the, they have the same weight ratings. Uh, they have, everything is identical uh, to these Michelins. So I'm wondering, you know, these other tires are, are priced so low, uh, but yet they're exactly the same highway tires uh, that I can use. Uh, what's the catch? And so I didn't want to share this with you guys uh, until I really could have uh, some more information to share with you about these tires. And so the tire that I've replaced my Michelins with is the Otani RK1000s. Uh, they have all the same specs. I've gone through everything uh, that my old Michelins had uh, that were highway tires. Uh, they are the 10 ply load E uh, speed rating up to one, 
112 obviously I'm not gonna be going that speed uh, but it's got the same type uh, of specs on everything across the board and so I thought hmm what's uh, what's the deal here why why are these so much cheaper brand new uh, literally less than half the price why is this and so uh, I went ahead and just kind of oh here's Ryder <laughs> uh, I went ahead and pulled the trigger on this tire and I bought uh, four tires and so uh, when I did this uh, the price of them was a hundred and six a hundred and six dollars a tire with free shipping and so I I just thought this has got to be too good to be true uh, this you know is this a mystery tire uh, is the rubber made out of you know not rubber you know what what's the deal here uh, and so since then first of all uh, I did just want to pull this up here the price of the tire now uh, has increased uh, I'm assuming they started out small I'm assuming this is a newer company uh, that is just kind of breaking into the market uh, but as of right now uh, the price on bestusedtires.com is $129 for me uh, when I bought it was 106 and so I just could not believe you know Michelin's are 200 I think they're close to 250 somewhere in there uh, a piece and yet uh, I can get this one that's exact same specs uh, made you know I'm assuming by a different company whatever uh, but it can withstand the same amount of, of uh, pressure and, and beating it down you know out on the road so uh, I, I kind of wagered it and just thought you know what even if it gets horrible horrible reviews even if this is not a good uh, tire and they don't last that long at the very least uh, if I get a, a you know 40 50 thousand miles out of these tires uh, I will have got my money's worth because I really didn't pay a whole lot and so uh, these Otani's RK 1000s uh, from bestusetires.com and I'm sure maybe they're out in other places now uh, but these tires uh, I believe have held up very well uh, I've been in rain multiple multiple times out on the road uh, this season I have obviously not gone through any snow yet uh, but it has done very well in the in the rain uh, I haven't out, had any uh, slip and slide action going on it's it's seemingly just as uh, just as good as the Michelin's uh, I would say they might be a slight bit louder uh, than the Michelin's but I also can't exactly tell because uh, with my back seat taking taken out uh, things are a little bit different and, and louder in general uh, even though I still have put uh, those bolts back into the where the seat was um, you know there, it seems to be a little bit louder hearing from the back so I don't know if that's the tires necessarily uh, or if that's uh, just the seat situation so uh, take that for what it's worth it, it does seem a little bit louder uh, than a Michelin which they're not that loud to begin with but uh, anyway, so uh, these tires have, have been on here uh, for some time now, several months. I will show you the paperwork or at least uh, talk through it. I've got the original invoice where I actually uh, had them put on and I've got the mileage there and then I'll compare that to my mileage here on the truck. I'll be going to the fuel station here in a minute uh, where I'm at in town. So I will let you guys know uh, how many miles I do have on these tires and then I'm gonna break out the uh, tread depth gauge uh, or whatever that I got from like tire barn or discount tire or whatever and just kind of show you uh, the different tread depths that we're at right now and so I, I believe uh, these tires come at 12 30 seconds uh, tread brand new uh, I think that might be the same for Michelin's uh, Michelin's might have 14 maybe I can't remember exactly I'll have to look that up but uh, so these tires come brand new at 12 and uh, I, I can still stick my you know my fat finger down in between the the grooves there and uh, I, I can still barely fit it in there uh, so to me I, I think I've had some some pretty solid uh, tread on there and uh, it has not been worn down very quickly at all and things are seemingly uh, wearing you know evenly so so I'm almost to the gas station and we'll go check it out all right guys so I've actually got 576 494 on the truck currently and so the time of this installation uh, it was uh, March 1st this year uh, as things were really kind of getting shut down uh, in the industry uh, when I had these put on it was 539 684 so uh, subtracting that 
uh, gives me 36,810 miles on these tires. Uh, I had all four put on, uh, two in the front, two in the rear, uh, due to some other issues that I, I didn't rotate uh, the best that I should have. So uh, that's on me, but uh, it costs like 95, 62 for uh, all four being mounted, balanced, all that, uh, and the other ones thrown away. So uh, 36,810 right now. Uh, and let's go check the tread depth. Obviously, uh, I would be, I would have a lot more miles on the truck uh, in this amount of time uh, if everything was run like normal, but uh, it was not with COVID. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check all of the different uh, tread depths around here. And I kind of go across, across the way here. You probably won't be able to really see the best, but I'm just gonna kind of show the best I can. So that is, a hair under 10. This is nine. This is nine. This is uh, a little over eight. Hopefully the wind's not too bad for you. Uh, I've got the ones in the rear on the inside, not the outside. Uh, I've got these other junk tires that I'm gonna be getting rid of at some point here, uh, or just using as spares. But uh, here we go, let's try from the there. So I've got, that's, and some change maybe uh, that is nine that is almost nine that is definitely nine so let's do the back here so I've got let's see that's uh, nine and some change that is a hair under now yeah, let's see Sometimes you gotta keep sliding it to see where we're really at here. That's eight. Let's see, a little over eight. And that's about eight as well. All right, so this is, let's see here, about 10. Nine and some change. Nine and some change. almost nine all right guys so uh, one thing i did miss i did go up and look online uh, i did find that it's actually not 12 30 seconds that they come brand new with it's actually 14. Uh, so 14 is brand new and so comparing that with what we just saw at each tire uh, roughly nine to maybe ten at most uh, that's still left in certain uh, ridges or, or whatever they're called uh, seems to be that they're they're actually wearing pretty decently uh, not too quickly uh, I do have again almost 37,000 miles on them so uh, for let's just say if I were to just double it let's be conservative you know in some places I really just had nine and ten uh, left so that means I've used four to five uh, 30 seconds of tread let's just say that I double what I have right now and take off five 30 seconds of tread uh, which in the front would be I would be very close to the minimum uh, for the front and then in the rear I could still push a little bit more uh, out of them if I wanted to uh, but just let's just double that so again 36,810 uh, times two we would be subtracting uh, you know at worst case scenario five 30 seconds twice from this first uh, almost 37,000 miles. And then if I were to go at an additional uh, 37,000 miles, that puts us at 73,620 uh, miles for uh, worst case scenario. There might even be a little bit more tread we could push it out. Uh, maybe you do that. I certainly try to if I can. I don't want to push the, push the limit uh, and get in trouble out on the road or with DOT, but uh, worst case scenario, almost 74,000 miles on a tire that cost me $106 for one, plus $20 roughly to mount it. Uh, so 130-ish, now they're at $129. Uh, I'm assuming they're slowly raising their price uh, as they break into the market and letting people buy it for cheap and then doing a review or something like this uh, to see, hey, th these guys are the real deal. Uh, it is wearing pretty decently. So for me, in a worst case scenario, I get 74,000 miles out of this. I think I could get much more than that. Uh, I am gonna be kind of bumping up my PSI to maybe get a little bit more life 
uh, out of these tires. So I would just compare this with your numbers, uh, that whatever tire you have, uh, maybe you're setting your ways uh, for the tire that you wanna have. But uh, I would just compare, check out your tires, see uh, what they start out with, what you have left, see what that gap in between is, and then see how many miles it's been. How many miles are you really getting? Or do you think you're just putting on 100,000 miles or this or that, whatever? Uh, do you really think you can get out of these tires? I think at the beginning, if I had actually had these at a higher PSI, uh, I would have been much better off. I would get much better wear and tear uh, on these tires and uh, they would have lasted even longer than maybe just the 74,000 miles. Uh, but the truth is, there's a lot of guys online that I hear bragging about getting 50 or 60,000 miles, uh, or maybe even, maybe even more. And I'm just thinking like, man, you're paying double or close to a Michelin price for those tires, and yet I'm paying like less than half, or maybe right at half now, uh, since they've raised the price a little bit, I'm paying half and I'm able to get just as many miles as you, or maybe even more. And so the tire conversation for whatever, oh, here's Ryder again. Uh, the tire <laughs> the tire conversation uh, seems to be a hot topic with a lot of people, uh, but uh, this is something you need to look at. These are hard numbers. These are not uh, just, well, uh, this is my opinion. The tread is the tread and the mileage is the mileage and the price is the price. And so uh, this is just something for you to consider. I don't know if you'd uh, even want to get these tires, uh, but if you did, uh, I would go with bestusetires.com. Uh, as of right now, I don't think there's any type of like referral, like <laughs> writer. Uh, I don't think there's any type of like referral thing that I would even get. I'm just simply telling you what I've gotten, uh, what I've done, and uh, <laughs> uh, and, and just kind of showing you the results. Uh, I did, <laughs> I did, uh, you know, say I was going to eventually do this review and share these new tires with you. Uh, so here it is. Uh, I'm expecting maybe, maybe, maybe even 80. I'll maybe let you know down the line, but. I'm expecting to uh, to get a little bit more than 74,000 miles out of these tires. If I increase my PSI, uh, maybe I can squeeze out a few more miles out of this thing, who knows? Uh, certainly in the rear, obviously I could get a little bit better uh, than the front uh, because of the minimum treads in the front and the rear, but, but overall I'm just very pleased. I've had no issues out on the road, uh, no, no flat tires, no slow leaks, no... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Riders, he's just he's in the zone today. Um, I've had really no issues out on the road. It's it's been just as smooth and just as nice as with the Michelins. Uh, maybe besides that small, little bit louder uh, road noise. Uh, so go ahead and check them out on the bestusetires.com. Uh, if you do, let me know. We'll see what your experience is. Uh, let me know in the future if you come back to this video. Let me know how many miles you got out of yours. Uh, again, my truck tires are 235 uh, by 80 and 17 inch rims on my truck. So hopefully this was a help to you uh, in the tire conversation when we're out on the road putting a lot of miles on our truck. Uh, we need safe, good, dependable tires, uh, but we don't need to be paying an arm and a leg uh, to be able to do it. So uh, with all that being said, hopefully you have a great day today. Stay safe and God bless guys.